What are patterns? Well, patterns include a series or sequence that generally repeats itself. There are different types of number patterns. Study this given series of numbers. 2, 3, 5, 8, and 12. If you were to continue this sequence, what would be the next three numbers? If you're thinking of numbers 17, 23, and 30, then you're right. The given example shows an ascending pattern where from 2 to 3, you add 1. Then from 3 to 5, you add 2. From 5 to 8, you add 3. And from 8 to 12, 4 is added. It means the next number can be obtained by adding 5, which makes 17. Plus 6 is 23, and plus 7, which makes 30. Try this other set. 86, 82, 78, and 74. What would be the next four numbers in this sequence? The next four numbers would be 70, 66, 62, and 58. Why so? Notice that from the preceding number to the next, there is a difference of 4. It means if the previous number is 74, the next one would be 70. Then 66, 62, and 58. What have you observed in these patterns? What are they based on? What do you call this type of pattern? From these examples, the given sequence is based on addition and subtraction. This type of pattern is called an arithmetic pattern, also known as an algebraic pattern. Let's try another sequence. 2, 6, 18, and 54. What would be the next three numbers? Study this set. 2 is multiplied by 3 to get 6. Then again, 6 is multiplied by 3 to get 18. Continue with 18 times 3, which is 54. And so 54 times 3 would be 162. And multiply this number by 3, we get 486. Times 3 would give us 1,458. How about a set arranged in descending order? From 256, 128, 64, and 32. What would be the next three numbers in this sequence? I bet this one is a lot easier than the previous one. Let's study the relationship of the first two numbers. Clearly, 128 is just a half of 256. It means 256 is divided by 2. Do the same with 128. Take half of this number, which is 64, and take half of 64, which is 32. Half of this number is 16, divided by 2 is 8, and half of 8 is 4. What have you observed in these patterns? What are they based on? What do you call this type of pattern? From these examples, the given sequence of numbers is based on multiplication and division. This type of pattern is called a geometric pattern. Have you heard of the Fibonacci pattern? This pattern is a sequence of numbers in which each number in the sequence is obtained by adding the two previous numbers together. The sequence starts with 0 and 1. Adding these two numbers will give us 1. Just the same, add the previous two numbers, putting together 1 and 1. That makes 2. And then, 1 and 2 put together makes 3. 2 and 3 gives us 5. 3 and 5 would give us 8. 5 and 8 is 13. And combining 8 and 13 will get 21. Based on this concept, 
try to fill in the missing numbers in the sequence below. 13, 21, 34, and 55. What would be the next three numbers in this set? Let's check. The next number would be 89, followed by 144, and then 233. Have you got the correct number in the sequence? Without a doubt, I believe you did it right. Let's try the last one. Study the given unit fraction. What would be the next three numbers in the sequence? I bet you would say 1 over 16, 1 over 19, and 1 over 22. What have you observed in this type of pattern? See what happens if we take the reciprocal of these elements. Notice that the reciprocal has a common difference of 3, and it ascends by adding the common difference, forming an arithmetic sequence. This type of pattern is called a harmonic pattern, where the reciprocals of all the elements form an arithmetic sequence. So I do hope by now you have a better understanding of the different types of number patterns.